Hello friends, uh, in this video we are going to discuss uh, one more uh, pentagonal triangle but the conditions and concept wise it is uh, different from the previous two pentagonal uh, pyramid problem. So, so far we discussed two pentagonal pyramid, uh, one by means of slant edges in HP and another by means of triangular face on HP. On the previous cases uh, we discussed uh, hexagonal two hexagonal pyramid, one axis is inclined to HP and parallel to BP and another hexagon is uh, by keeping one of its triangular faces uh, of the resting edges perpendicular to both HP and B. If you wish to see those videos, you can refer the description box. Link along with the questions has been shared in the description box. Now you can read this question. A right pentagonal pyramid, side of base 20 mm and altitude 60 mm. Altitude is nothing but the height rests on one of its edges of the base on HP. So being one of the edges of the base on HP, it is uh, very similar to the previous uh, question or uh, question number two. One of its edges of the base on HP also uh, similar to one of the triangular faces on HP. Both are the similar position of the uh, top view. The base being lifted up until the highest corner. This is not the high corner. This is the highest corner. In it is. 20 mm above HP. There is a mistake here. This is the highest corner. Highest corner of the base has to be lifted 20 mm above HP. Draw its projection of the pyramid when the N H on it is rest is made perpendicular to BP. So edge of the uh, base must which is resting on HP must be perpendicular to BP. Now what is the position of our uh, pentagon? one of its edges on HP so we can clearly say one of its edges on HP and also last condition also is this clearly satisfied this edge is also perpendicular to VP you see this resting edge this is the resting edge which is perpendicular to VP what is the highest corner here I'm having five corners in this pentagon what is the highest corner here this is the highest corner opposite to this resting edge I'm having a corner which is the highest corner it has to be tilted it has to be lifted 20 mm above HP. You can clearly see this edge is on HP. At the same time, this same edge is not perpendicular to VP. Highest corner of this pentagon is the corner which is opposite to this resting edge. This is the corner. This corner has to be lifted 20 mm above HP. So, final position of this uh, pentagon. You have two options once again you can keep uh, either uh, corner on the right or left here we are going to lift only so for lift you can keep uh, either corner on the right or left noises if it is an inclined only we can keep the uh, corner on the right always the conditions on the right side so check the solution first draw the pentagon so being uh, you know the position of pentagon this is the edge on HP. After rotation, this edge becomes perpendicular to XY reference line. The base side is 20 mm. Give a name of all the corners A, B, C, D, E. After fixing this, you can uh, identify the uh, center apex or vertex point O. Join all the slant edges to this uh, apex or vertex. Then extend the projectors from all the corners as well as from the apex or vertex to fix the axis. Representation of axis is long dashed dotted lines. If you miss these dots, it represents the hidden line. Okay, so always uh, remember the representation of axis line and also remember the difference between axis and hidden lines. If you missed to uh, draw these dots, it looks like a hidden line. So the concept is entirely different for uh, hidden and axis. So, what is the height of this axis? It is 60 mm, so dash. 60. Now you can join all these land edges as well as space in the simple position front view. Okay, and uh, this uh, D, C, D is visible from here. A and E is invisible, that is why it is denoted in the bracket A dash E dash. Now, what is the highest corner? Highest corner in this pentagon opposite to the resting edge. So, AB is the resting edge, opposite to the resting edge is D. This D corner has to be lifted at a height of 20 mm so you can fix try an uh, dimension line of 20 mm on this extension line you can fix any point from this you can draw an arc what is the radius of this arc so you can fix any point any point on this extension line 20 mm above hp 
and measure the distance of d dash and a dash okay measure the distance of these dash and a dash from this space this space d dash and a dash and cut an arc on this xy reference okay now you can join that uh, extension line point to this uh, arc on the xy the base is completed now you can move on to axis you can also give a name of all the base edges nothing but your pentagonal uh, surface the midpoint i'm going to have an axis i can with this i can fix o dash you can join all these land edges of this respective top view oh, sorry front view after completion of this uh, reproducing the front view of the highest corner in it is uh, 20 mm above hp highest corner in this 20 mm above hp you can extend the projectors from all the respective base corners of the pyramid as well as from the apex and vertex both meeting points can mark respective similar rotations o1 c1 a1 c1 d1 and e1 so with this i can clearly see first draw the boundaries what are all the boundaries o1 one o1 and then e1 d1 and c1 draw all the boundaries first after completion of a boundary you can uh, first complete the surface of the pentagon so it's like an inclination some of it is inclined if it is inclined i can say this bottom edge of this uh, bottom edge of this bottom half of this edge what is bottom half of this edge a dash b dash clearly it is invisible from the top a dash b dash is on x y so it is clearly invisible from the top view it has to be denoted in the bracket okay so you can see this is a and here also this is a dash both meeting at this point so this is a and similarly it is b so we can draw by means of hidden lines a1 b1 what about uh, edges now the pentagon has been completed a b c d e pentagon is completed now we can complete slant edges o d is clearly visible from the top view o dash d dash is clearly visible from the top view i can join this o1 e1 by means o1 d1 by means of continuous thick lines being this is the slant edge at the bottom it may not be seen from the top view so this o dash b dash o dash a dash is invisible from the top view being it is overlapping on the uh, exact edges of o1 e1 if it is exactly on the uh, this o1 e1 no need to redraw the same on uh, this o1 e1 uh, continuous thick line okay if it is somehow uh, offset from these edges you can uh, so like this what about o1 d1 here the O1, D1 is missed. So you have to draw this O1, D1. You have to draw, complete this O1, D1 by means of continuous thick lines. It is missed, missed in this uh, uh, answer. So this O1, O dash, D dash is clearly visible from the top view. So O1, D1 has to be connected by means of continuous thick lines o1 d1 has to be connected by means of continuous thick lines don't forget it always complete this o1 d1 by means of continuous thick lines okay guys so far uh, we discussed three pentagonal pyramid and two hexagonal pyramid all are different uh, conditions of the pyramid if you are uh, capable of understanding or identifying these uh, differences between these five questions you can solve any kind of uh, pyramid especially inclination with respect to hp here okay so if you have any queries and doubts you can add it through the comment box our comments are always welcome